I was surprised by, by your poll that people would be more interested in interior yeah. Yeah. pictures than exterior. Even though kind of the rest of the story that you told kind of then turned again, you know, oh no, let's look at Big Sur or exterior pictures. There wasn't so much interior pictures, but how did you interpret kind of this, this notion of people want to see themselves in the car? Why, why is the poll so high for interior versus exterior? So, sure. So, I think that moving forward when we do more user testing, we'll dig deeper into that. But right now, we've just been building software that's agnostic to the camera placements. We haven't been too worried on, on I guess, driving forward the product with that feedback at, at this point. Mm -hmm. And like a possible interpretation of why there seemed to be a preference for interior. Mm -hmm. One way you could look at it is you can find scenic pictures anywhere on Google Images, on Google, you know, online. You don't need to go out and take it. But I think with the rise of selfies or taking photos, like, you know, photos are very personalized property that people are taking a lot of value in. So that could be a reason why they were very much interested in taking interior car facing cameras, which capture themselves. Mm -hmm. okay. um, my feeling is that, at least from our perspective, um, it would be interesting to see you focus on the, on the car side of things. Um, I do think for this sort of solution we need a backend. Um, the, the danger of this sort of thing is always to kind of reinvent the wheel and come up with a, yet another great photo sharing service. So, I mean, ten, 10 weeks left. From our perspective, I think it would be most interesting to see what you come up with, what, great, what other great ideas you can come up with to make that, to, to have a, a unique experience for the user. And try to find out which which problems really need to be problems, quote unquote, really need to be solved for somebody who wants to have that photo sharing mm -hmm. experience while driving. Um, and probably, I mean, looking at this, it would probably be interesting to find out what sort of other photo sh generic photo sharing services we'd, we'd rather interface to rather than than have our own backend. Um, I love the idea of, of enriching the data more, the, the pictures more with with car data. The ultimate thing has to be a full track of the journey with the pictures placed on the on the spots. That probably leads to something we're working on. Another angle is to continuously upload the the whole journey, not just not just the position from of the picture. Um, might have to talk about whether you do that at all, and we just later integrate or, or how that works. But it looks great. I mean, it looks very promising. I'd say. All right, it's it's, uh, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have any any specific. I mean, <coughs> was did you think about a little bit? The, you generally assume that at some point um, you'll be just able to use the camera that I installed in the car, like you said, the X5. But then when you look in detail at those cameras, they they are not really <laughs> the best angle to take pictures. I mean, some look down. Right. Right. So you can take a lot of street photos <laughs> in the front bumper, so you can take a lot of other cars' bumpers <laughs> photo. Uh, and um, I think the only one that's maybe interesting is the one that kind of looks on the street. And that happens to not even take color photos, because it's kind of you know, looking at black and white and object recognition. And um, do, do you think about kind of more like an aftermarket? You can buy whatever, a GoPro or the Sony camera and want to fit it to the car, or do you generally think this is not a good idea or not? Yeah, so a couple of points on that. The original photo that we saw was, I think, included in the presentation, was the panoramic view. Mm -hmm. And it seemed promising, at least from that angle. Um, the, the idea was more to simulate the experience, what we call sort of a leap of faith, of if the drivers want this, especially because cameras are becoming increasingly less expensive. Mm -hmm. This is something that can be added or repositioned pretty easily. And definitely, clearly Corvette is onto something with their, they're getting a good view around the track. So whether the, the hardware is changed sufficiently or where it is, what we wanted to really experience is how are the users gonna interact with the app? How are they going to enjoy it? And in a, work on the hardware pieces in conjunction with you guys later <coughs> um, it, when we do more research of what exactly do they want. So I hope that answers the question. So, 
However, on the point of the, the whole thing about photo location attractiveness. Um, I think I had, a, I had a friend who did that a year ago, two ago, just looking at uh, flicker densities and stuff like that. Is that, is that what you're thinking of? Or were you thinking of extracting that from our own data or your own data? Sure, so I'm thinking of a combination of the two. Yeah. To be honest, we haven't started working on that company yet. Were you actually thinking about some features like not only showing the, the journeys you, you've made, but also uh, uh, enabling other BMW drivers to use this <laughs> as destinations, as routes they, they want to try, for example, they say, oh, this was a nice scenic route. Um, so it's not just presenting the photos, but also um, providing another level of car integration by using um, this as an input for, for other travels. That's really good feedback. We'd love to potentially incorporate that into the social network aspect if we pursue it further. Yeah, and there actually is a third-party app that exists right now, or it might be a BMW app, but there is an app that exists where you uh, can look up what uh, scenic drives there are in your area. Mm -hmm. So again, that might be one of those where we don't want to reinvent the wheel, but put it in conjunction of, yeah. mm -hmm. here's the scenic drive, we have that already, and here are the photos I took on that drive. Now come see for yourself. We do believe that the car-to-car -car communication between multiple BMW drivers is important. Like an example idea we had was if you photographed, you know, if you happen to take a picture of a car accident and you want to notify that to other BMW drivers, that photo could be identified and then all other BMW drivers connected on that network could see, oh, there's a car crash here, you know, don't go this way. So photos could be used in that way to communicate, not just for one user's benefit, but for benefit the entire ecosystem or network. Thank you.